Hi, and welcome to this video about the fisherman's bend. What we have right here is actually a double fisherman's bend, and we'll get to that later in the video. This knot is useful for tying two ropes together, like all bends. And this knot you can tie different sizes of ropes together, because it's just basically a stopper knot that goes through another stopper knot, so they kind of stop each other from pulling out. It is the way if you want to tie a Prusik loop, and we cover that in another video. And it's also useful for tying uh, necklaces, actually. That's, that's the main reason I use this knot. It's, as you can see, it's quite slim. So that's one reason why you want to use it. So if you want to pull this over something, uh, rocks or uh, branches and stuff, it has a smaller tendency to get stuck than, for example, a figure of eight band. However, since this is basically, we'll see that shortly, since this is basically uh, overhand knots, it can, if you put a lot of load here, it can jam really tightly. And uh, I've seen some sources that said that basically it welds the ropes together so you can never get them out without cutting the ends. Okay, so get to, let's get to tying. We start with a simple one. Let me just untie this. As you can see, I've pulled slightly on this and it's already hard to get to separate them. Okay, as you, and as you can see, I can just now, oh well, there wasn't burnt ends, I should be able to pull it through. Okay, so you start with one rope, and you can just choose with that whichever. I start with the black one here. And I start with doing an overhand knot. So I start with this, but the white one going through the loop here. And then I just basically finish the overhand knot here. And this is a simple fisherman's bend, or this will be a simple fisherman's bend. I'll do the same here. So remember to get the black one in the loop as well, in this which you create. And then go through the loop. So this is this is how it should look like. Okay. And then basically, or basically, basically, we're done. This is a simple fisherman's knot, and it's nice if you can make them asymmetrical or symmetrical, depending how you view it, so that they pull when they pull together, it looks nice. Uh, I could conceive that you would tie this, let's see, uh, this way must be. Let's try this way. No, oh, it still looks nice. Okay. Okay, so it's hard to mess it up. So this locks here. A double fisherman's bend is basically, instead of making overhand knots, you can say, um, I, I, I kind of like to call it a double overhand, but it's not. It's a grapevine, and you go just one lap. Instead of going through here, you just go one more lap, one more turn around the, uh, the standing part. And you require some more rope for that. Now you go through. You can see the difference. So you go here in this white one, you go one more turn around. In this one, you only want one turn around and through. So if you want to make a double one, I need some more rope. Instead of going through here, you go around one more turn and then through both of those. Like that, and then you pull tight. So this is a double fisherman's bend. Yeah, and it can jam and be really annoying, but it holds. I've said I'd use usually do this for necklaces, and here I've tied two uh, grapevine knots. So this is a double fisherman's bend. 
and as you can see with the right rope they kind of hold so you can when you thread the necklace over your head or your head into your necklace whichever way you want to look at it you can have it like this and then when you have it around your neck you can pull these knots apart and make it smaller and they they hold enough uh, to hold up the necklace basically okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video here at knots and ropes